What's up, family? This is your girl, Aqua Goddess, coming to give you guys a quick general reading. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of the information will be in our description box below. And if you're new to the channel, welcome love. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Join the family. I would love to have you. And if you're returning, welcome back family. Thank you for your love and support. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys, most high. Please protect me and my collective as I channel these messages. Please provide me with the most clear messages and please return all negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold. Anybody out there showing me love, much love and light to you. So I've been picking up heavy um, police energy and intuitively this is so random but I definitely feel like somebody might be actually, it could be a street walker. So you could be connecting to someone that you may not know this about them, but they could be a streetwalker. I do see the police affiliated in some type of way. Um, if you are planning travel, make sure that you have your insurance card, your registration, your license. If you don't have your insurance card, have your insurance company email you your insurance card. Um, definitely, definitely picking up. Somebody coming towards your way. Um, this is an ex. They could be definitely sending negative energy towards your way. This person is pissed because you moved on without them. They wanted you to wait. I don't know if this person was in jail and you moved on without them. Or if this you just moved on. Um, but this person is pissed and you might have to contact the authorities. If that's the type of stuff that you do. I hear no pressure, so a lot of you guys definitely know how to protect yourself, for sure, for sure. I do see somebody reaching out to your mutual friends. So if you have an ex-lover and you guys share the same friends, uh, this person could definitely be reaching out to your friends, our mutual friends on Facebook, to try to get messages to you. For some of you guys, this might be a baby daddy that you have, like, literally, you're just over the situation um, with this person. Definitely could be someone of a different background or, for, or a different ethnicity. I do see lawyer as well. So somebody could definitely be having some legal issues and may need to get a lawyer. Uh, some of you guys could be connecting with cancers. Um, I definitely got that energy in cancer read. Wow, this is the craziest thing. Um, so, somebody's very possessive over your body or this could be the way that you feel about them or someone that you guys are connected to. I don't know. But somebody is not, somebody is saying don't give my stuff away, you know. And I see this streetwalker energy too. So I don't know, like maybe somebody works at a strip club or they are like prostituting. I don't know. But I definitely see lawyer and police. So this definitely is legal issues. Somebody says that they're in love with you, but they never come and see you. And they blame it on the fact that they live so far away. Or this might be the way that you're feeling about somebody. But really what it is, is a side hole, I see. And they're wasting their time because everything reminds them of you. So it's like, oh, I see. Spirit is saying this is about money. Okay. So your person definitely could not be coming to see you or could be kind of disconnected, distant, whatever the case may be. They have a side person that they use for money. This is a hustler. 
They could definitely be going through some legal issues and need this person's support for a lawyer. I do see an apology. And this apology could be... Oh, shit. Um, whoa. Okay, guys. So, somebody that I'm channeling for, not all of you, of course. Um, this is a situation. You know, somebody's apologizing because this could be your friend or their friend. But somebody wanted to be intimate with your lover or they were intimate with your lover. Could be a cancer. I'm picking up heavy cancer energy. Or this could be uh, your lover's friend um, wanting to be intimate with you. I don't know. But I definitely feel like something definitely intimate happened because there's an apology here for this. Whether it was a kiss, a booty grab, whatever the case may be. Like, somebody has an important decision to make in regards to being honest. But I see this person is holding out as long as they can. No accountability here. Spirit knows how much protection they put over your life. So spirit is definitely like, who do they think that they are to betray collective like that, right? This might have been a friend that you kind of lightweight didn't trust before or they gave you a something questionable about them right this is why if you check the community page i told you guys if this is not already your situation definitely always it's important to be your own best friend because for some of you guys this may have been your best friend or this could be your person's best friend coming on to you pick which side you on but I see this is somebody that was questionable in the past. It says, fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. So it's like this person ain't really taking accountability because they know that once they tell you, it's already halfway slow with this person. Whether it be a friend or family member or a love person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cancer, I knew I was picking up this cancer energy, chariot energy here. Hmm. Wow. So it's like there needs to be a heart to heart conversation about how things are going to move forward, which direction, you know, because I see I definitely see you taking control of your own life. It might take you some time to digest some of this stuff, confirmation, but it's going to take you on a spiritual journey. I see and you could meet a Leo uh, that's very significant in your life. Or you could be a Leo. But I definitely see a lot of strength, courage, compassion, focus, inner power, self-confidence, self-mastery. I see you definitely controlling your spending habits. So if you've been spending out of just feeling down you know i see you getting that back on track i see you being very determined there could be a couple more large purchases that you need to make maybe investments for your business things of that sort but overall i see you moving forward very confidently you're mastering something as well something creative your grandmother could be working with you whether she's here in the physical or in the, the fifth dimension I'm picking up the energy that there's a Leo that's very close to their grandmother. And this is what pushes you forward or this person pushed you forward. Even if they're still gone, they're still with you, pushing you forward. I see that this grandmother lives through you, whoever I'm channeling for. She misses you. She loves you. She's always with you. And I do, you know, travel back and forth from the three and the five dimensions. So I'm channeling for somebody's grandmother, a Leo. Either your grandmother's a Leo or you're a Leo. But I'm picking up the energy that you're a Leo and your grandmother's a Capricorn. She says she misses you. All right. 
I can't make this up. I just said she says she misses you, didn't I? She misses you. Your grandmother. And you could miss her too. And she may be a Scorpio for some of you guys. Or a Libra. Or a Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about this grandmother. What is she trying to communicate through me, Spirit? What is this grandmother trying to communicate through me? She says, remember who you are. You don't owe nobody nothing. Live your life. Have fun. Celebrate. Three Cups Energy. She's going to come and see you, um, whether this being your dream or whether you see a big flashing light in your home. Yeah, um, she's telling me that she's happy. Don't worry. She says that she's reunited with her soul group. I don't know if this is her best friend, maybe her her best friend or something passed before she passed or her sister or her her parents. She could have passed on one of her anniversaries or somebody's birthday. And it could have been around cancer season. Or she might be a cancer. Wow. Thank you, Grandma. Wow, these don't belong here, so you know I got to take them. Wow, listen. Wow, for somebody I'm channeling for, uh, it could be, August 28th could be sufficient. Age 51 could be sufficient. Age 28 could be sufficient. Angel number 888. Also February 8th, January 5th, January 6th, January 8th. February 5th. This grandmother is telling me that you may be still indecisive about what you want to do or where you want to go or how you want to go about something. She's sending her loving, healing energy your way. And for some of you guys, if this is resonating, she's saying that you are meant to be a healer. This is where you will be victorious. You've been here before. This is why you, go, you guys had a connection so strong. And I'm also picking up, she could be a Sag. I'm hearing 12-12. Okay. What other messages should my collective know, Spirit? Growth. There's some transition and going that's going to help you grow. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness, and you are. If you have not surrendered, this is what's holding you back from your abundance, from finding out who you really are or what you really want. Somebody's grandmother is so powerful. I'm picking up the energy that she's in a 5D. Has to be this energy. But she could be on the 3D, but I feel like this is 5D. She's saying release the need to control. I see this. Happiness, change, gratitude, envy. Wow. So there's some big changes coming in your life that people are not going to love. They're going to be envious of you. But just be aware that being happy means that you're on the right path. And understand that nothing can grow or evolve without change. You know, even if there's people that you're losing along the way, like friend, this friend energy that I was picking up for somebody. Show gratitude to, to spirit and have no fear. You know, people fear your abundance. People fear your path and your journey and your light. You don't feel like you're better than anybody. You're aware. 
you know, that you guys are not perfect. You know, we none of us are. But you have different challenges and you got a different perspective when it comes to your challenges. This is why you're successful. This is why you're the chosen one. This is why your grandmother is communicating through me. All right? Those, uh, let me get a chakra message. I feel guided to get a chakra message. Fifth, the chakra, throat chakra, creative expression. I am committed to sharing and revealing my thoughts and feelings by being creative in my communication style and using expressive language. I express myself through talking, singing, sighing, laughing, and crying. Through using my creative talents as well. I consciously use my senses to experience my world more fully. I see, hear, smell, and feel more. And I become more aware of my surroundings, such as weather, aromas, people, nature, sounds, and sights. So, your spirit team, specifically your grandmother, she wears a crown. She's sending you messages through music through feelings, through energy, through conversations, through angel numbers. <clears throat> Make sure that you see, hear, smell, and feel the movement so that you'll have a better understanding and which, as to which direction to go in. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you today. I love you guys. If you need anything from me, the information will be in our description box below. Much love and light. Peace.